my wife's father-in-law, his funeral will be uh, at Faith Chapel here in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, and they, we haven't got everything listed as of yet, uh, but it'll be this Thursday. It's open to the uh, public at 2, p or 2 p.m. Yeah, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, Faith Chapel North, I will give you that address here in just a moment. And uh, so if you'd like to attend, like to uh, just show, uh, to, to, to come and show your support for the family, uh, you're, you're welcome to come. Uh, we certainly invite you to come. Um, just keep in my mind, my wife and the kids are, are very, very devastated, as as have was I. Uh, and I know it's going to be a very difficult day as well on that day. A very dear friend of mine, pastor uh, and, and a retired uh, minister, Donnie Barrow, will be officiating his service. Um, I'll probably speak myself for maybe 15 minutes. Uh, but I call Brother Donnie Barrow today. He will be a part of that. And he is a long, long, many, many years family friend. And I really love Brother Donnie. And I'm so happy that he was able to do so. Um, but it, but also, uh, uh, I want to sh uh, share with you too, uh, everything because of trying to save my father-in-law's life and stuff uh, has, has been very very difficult and uh, especially financially because my father-in-law was not insured. Um, he did not, he only, he got a $500 a month social security pension and 200 of that went to his Medicare just to pay for his medical. Uh, and I am very thankful of that because when he started in with the kidney failure, we would have certainly had some very astronomical bills, but luckily it seems that social security has taken care of most of that. And uh, what little bit we had set aside for, um, the, uh, the very unfortunate that we're dealing with now ended up going into uh, not with the doctors. They were kind enough to volunteer, uh, you know, their, as far as time. But um, uh, even our hotel, this hotel alone has topped 8,000 uh, because of the rooms we needed. We had to have three. Uh, uh, but we had also the volunteer of Wendell and her husband. Uh, you know, they were kind enough to help us. And, uh, but there are a lot of other expenses and stuff, and it's just really been very difficult. And then the funeral cost on top of it. So if the Lord lays it upon your heart and you'd like to help us out on that, please, uh, if you can do it online, to donate online, right there on the right side of the website, just click that button, any credit card. That would certainly be a tremendous blessing for us. Uh, and your prayers are also a tremendous blessing. It doesn't have to be just a financial donation. And, uh, and of course, I know many of you, thousands of you have been praying for us. You could also do it right directly to our mailing address, Dominion Institute, PO Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee 37872. Uh, and if you're doing it for the help of funeral expense or the expenses that, uh, that we've had to deal with, just put on there, Grandpa for Grandpa. We would we, we certainly thank you for that. And also, I know there's some that couldn't make it that would probably like to wanted to send flowers. The funeral home did tell me, though, that if you're going to send flowers, they, they really requested that you not use the online places like Teleflora or any of the other online. They said because what happens is they normally show up a day late. They said the burial, like his funeral is on Thursday, and they'll end up getting them on Friday. Uh, they said, unfortunately, they're very bad about that. Uh, and maybe unless you have good results with someone that you know. But at any rate, uh, I did pull up a few. A three different ones uh, for you in the event that you want to do that. Uh, and one was Blossoms, which is very close to the funeral home. They actually had a good good reputation with Rep. Well, you can see five stars long in one review, I guess. That's why. So, but anyway, their phone number there to the right side of the screen, 850-587-2150. Just highlighted that in blue for you. And then also um, another one that I saw, they didn't have a website, but it's called Grandview Florist. And their number right here uh, on your screen here, um, 850-968-2164. And then uh, another one here. I think I've actually used Calico Flowers years ago. Calico Flowers and Gifts, uh, they've got a pretty good rating, nine reviews on theirs. And their phone number right down here, 850-438-1981. And this is if you're wanting to, to send flowers or something like that. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. We love you guys so much. 
And by the way, if you're catching this part of the video on Israeli News Live, you didn't get to see the first part. The first part here uh, is a broadcast that we had did for our friends over on Patreon. And of course, those of you watching on Patreon, you're seeing this part anyway. Uh, but we just have uploaded a new broadcast on Israeli News Live on our Patreon channel. I'll include that link for you as patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. We're talking about on there today about NASA and the priests that are being sent to NASA to help deal with human and alien inter, inter, uh, intermingling. And I found out, uh, checked in with my sources in Washington, and they said that project's been going on for two years. By the way, the picture there on our Patreon channel right there happens to be one I took myself. That's the United Nations flag there on the border of Israel and Syria. That was back during the uh, beginning of that battle that was going on in Syria. And we used to go and cover that. Those of you that used to watch years ago about that. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, and uh, God bless you uh, for being a part of our ministry here and your support and love and prayers means a great deal to us um, and uh, still going to be very difficult uh, tomorrow and Thursday for us. So please understand, uh, I will begin to tar start doing little short video clips on news broadcasts, but uh, I'll be back home Friday and we will really get back to work. Uh, especially Saturday uh, of this week here. So I love you guys and thank you so much for your kindness and consideration. And all the, I've been getting emails. Uh, my email, stephenbenoon at gmail.com. You can email me there as well. Uh, it's hard for me to answer all the emails because, friends, I get hundreds and hundreds of emails. So if you write me and I don't get back with you or something, please forgive me. It, it is very difficult. Uh, but, um, uh, I do try to check them and answer them as much as I can humanly possibly to do that as well. God bless you and have a great night.